Hey boys and girls, I want to let you know I really miss seeing you guys. And I'm really glad though that I can be here with you for your chapel and doing a little devotion for you. I wanted to start with a Bible verse. It's one that I think probably all of you have at least heard at some point or another in your life. It's from John chapter 3. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only son of God. The word for today is love. But what is true love? What does it mean to love someone? If I were to ask you, do you love your moms and your dads? I would hope that the answer is yes. Do you love Pastor Ada? The answer is yes. That's right. But how do we know? How do we know that you love us? Let me ask you a question. Do you think that your parents love you? How do you know? You're probably saying, well, mom and dad, they provide food for me, shelter, clothes, my Game Boy. Oh, wait, maybe that's not something that you need. But they give you what you need, right? They share of themselves with you. You see, this is what our Bible verse is talking to us about today. For God so loved the world. We know that God loves us because he did something very special. God sent his son. For God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his only begotten son. How do we know that someone truly loves us? It's when they give us something special. What did God the Father give to the world? He gave the most special gift. He gave the gift of his son. One of the things that I want you to take out of all of this is that we also should imitate God's love for us. But you might ask, how can we do that? How can we love like God loved the world? Well, it isn't always easy. But what is it that God did? He gave us something special. He sacrificed. He gave of himself, his son, Jesus. And Jesus loved us so much that he gave up his life for us. So maybe we can give a part of our lives to other people. Now, I'm not asking you to go and and die for someone. But maybe to give a little bit of your life. Give a little bit of your time. Maybe you can go and and help out, help the school by cleaning up. Help your brothers and sisters or your mom and dad by cleaning your room, cleaning the house. Maybe you can give some time or give some of your money. You know, you can go and give an offering to your church so that way they can continue their mission of loving and serving the world. And maybe you can give of your talents. Maybe, maybe some of you are really funny and you can make your friends laugh. Some of you have beautiful voices and you can sing for your moms and dads. Some of you can just be really good students and do your work and help your teachers to know how great a job they're doing. There's so many things that we can do to help others know how much we love them. The most important thing, though, is to give. To give of yourself, love and serve your neighbor so that they will know God's love through you. Would you say a prayer with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the love that you have shown us. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, into the world to pay the price for all our sins. Help us, Lord, to imitate your love. Help us to give of our lives so that we can serve others. Please be with everybody who is suffering through this time. Help them to know your love.
pray that you would be with us all, be with our school, our friends, our families, our teachers, and everyone in this world. We ask this all in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lived and died so that we could have eternal life with him. We ask this in his name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, good morning, Hope family. We have uh, four birthdays for this week. We have Jonathan Proch, Christian Kittle, and Paxton Rasmussen, and Landon Cherry. Happy birthday, guys. Announcements for April 1st. Boys and girls, don't forget to check your email every day. Your teachers, that's the way they are communicating with you. Teachers are excited to see you next week, also in Zoom. Uh, you will be on starting at 8.30 when devotions start. Have a great day in the